here's the new Silverado EV. It's a 2024 EV RS T model. And I like the look of this. So 754 horsepower, 785 foot-pounds of torque, 200 kilowatt lithium ion battery. This one, we've seen a lot of the videos. Uh, we haven't had the opportunity to get a hold of one of the work truck models of this, but this RST, which is the consumer model, is sharp looking. None of these vehicles at the Denver Auto Show have the the front hood being able to pop open. I'm actually not sure where the button to open it is, but it's got a little uh, frunk up front. It's pretty nice. Huge wheels. How big are these wheels? 24 inch wheels on this RST model. But very nice. This is a, it looks a little bit like the, the Avalanche of old, but I think it looks a lot better than the Avalanche did. Chevy's big infotainment system again in this truck with some physical HVAC controls here. Huge center console, a couple cup holders, a few cup holders for the rear passenger, full power seat on the passenger side. Yeah, it's a decent sized glove box, but then you do have a, a little storage tray here and then water bottle storage which you could actually get a couple of water bottles in there it's a good looking let's take a look at the back seat if we can and here's where you kind of look, get that avalanche styling with the wings excuse me sir and uh, so let's get in the back seat here so just like any modern trucks these days huge back seat lots of headroom plenty of headroom here and this back seat actually folds all the way down it has a feature where you can fold the back wall of the truck down to increase the cargo capacity of your bed to almost 10 a little over 10 feet I believe it's incredible so pretty cool Let's see if we can get a ability to do that this has heated outboard rear seats but lots of space floor is huge let's take a look i don't know if we'll be able to fold this down or not but this seat folds up and then somehow this seat folds down i'm actually not sure where but this does fold down flat here somewhere we won't spend too much time trying to find it. See if I can figure it out real quick. All right, so here's our lever. So we'll pull that, and that will lower this, and you have to hit this button. So that actually lowers down, and then this whole back wall folds down to give you more access or longer bed so your cargo can come all the way up to this front seat. So you get this huge cargo capacity it's a pretty cool feature the glass window actually comes out so you unlatch these and this glass will fold down and out I'm not sure exactly how that works but I'm sure we'll learn that over time we'll bring that to you if we can get a hands on this vehicle take it for a drive we'll be able to show you all those features about how this seats fold and whatnot so coming around the back let's take a look at the bed from the outside, huge bed. This has a multi-flex tailgate, which let's see if they let us fold it down. Doesn't look like it, but it does have the multi-flex tailgate on it. And then there's where you can see the back wall from this side. You can obviously see that the glass comes out, the whole wall folds down. You get a massive bed, bigger than you'd get in most full-size trucks from that capability, so it definitely increases your carrying capacity for this vehicle. I'm pretty intrigued by this truck. I really like it. It's styling, it looks really nice. I just wanna to touch on real quick with this Silverado. Here's your charge port. I actually think Chevy has a, a little bit of a miss on this. When you're towing a trailer, you can't back into a 
charging spot. You really, they need it on the front, the front of the truck. So every day, yeah, this is fine. Um, I just think they, they could have had a bigger win from a towing standpoint by putting it on the front right of this truck instead of the rear. So massive wheels, 24 inch wheels, just incredible. Um, but it looks really nice. Let's see if we can see. All right. Oh yeah. So it's it's range estimated at 400, which I've actually heard um, is a little bit more than 400 now that it's EPA rated at, and you can get Super Cruise in this. So that's the 2024 Silverado EV in the RST trim. Really excited for this truck to come out and to get get a chance to drive it and see what it's like in the real world.